My co-op mod list for MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries with the latest DLC for November 2022. Hi friends, I'm TTB. Welcome back to uh, MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. Now, since you guys on majority requested that we have a look back at MechWarrior 5 Mercs and do a co-op playthrough of the game with some of the more interesting and more fun mods added, I thought to myself, the first thing we need to do before we get started is we need a mod list so that everybody can be on the same page. So here it is. This mod list was compiled by some of you guys from our Discord server. We also got some feedback and some information from some of the mod creators as to which mods work with which mods and so on. So this, in theory, should all work beautifully together. And I'm going to go quickly over the mods so you guys can see what we'll be playing with. Note, if you want to join me, in this uh, new co-op campaign. I will announce the uh, dates where we will be streaming and recording the gameplay, of course, uh, ahead of time. So you guys can go ahead, have some time to install the mods and join us. Uh, notes basically tell you how to install this and uh, mod co-op uh, checklist before you can join, make sure to install the mods. And of course have a working Discord and mic setup with push to talk so that we can actually interact with each other. Now. Enough about the housekeeping. Let's talk about the mods involved. And we're starting with, I would say the most important one, yet another mech lab. Anybody should be familiar with this right now. It just changes so much about the game, especially with the customizability of the mechs. Um, <laughs> it's really a joy to work with. Uh, there's a couple of uh, custom crooks in here now for mechs as well. There are custom mechs even. Rumors have it there's even a TTB mech in there. So. Uh, plus some other really nice things, for example, a good old heat vision. And we're talking about Predator style heat vision from the classic Mac Warrior Online, not the gray in gray heat vision that we have nowadays. So lots of cool stuff in here. That is going to be the basis. You also need another file from this one. It's called yet another Mac Lab Max, and that just adds additional Max and loadouts with MRMs and long tons and all the crazy stuff available. Then you will get yet another clan mech that basically adds a collection of clan mechs for yet another mech lab. So that will introduce a little bit of clan tech to the game. For example, this is, I believe, a Mad Cat Mark II. I hope it is, not a Colrim Bone. I can't really tell right now. We'll find out in the game, I guess. Let's see, are there any more images? No, this is it. Okay. From the description, what do we get? We get mechs like the Dervish 2C, Griffin 2C, Handler 2C, Marauder 2C, Orion 2C. Shadowhawk to see, Thunderbolt to see, and Urban Mech to see. Very, very nice. There's some MWO Omnimax, the Cougar, the Black Lanner, the Mad Dog, and the Direwolf. Beautiful. Moving on to the next mod in the list, we've got improved mech shader that is required for some of the clan mechs, so that's what we're installing. It basically just changes the shading on some of the uh, items and makes it a little bit better looking, and I would think you guys agree that this just looks a lot better, a little crisper might also help alleviate some graphics issues that we had uh, earlier on. Then we get yet another weapon. All of this is part <laughs> and integrates into yet another mech lab, of course. Yet another weapon adds a heaping ton of new weapons, uh, including LBXs, Ultras, Rotary, and Light Auto Cannons. Light Heavy, it's not those PPCs, Silver Bullet, Light Heavy, Improved Heavy Gausses, MRMs, Strict SRMs, ER, and X Pulse Lasers, Light Machine Guns, Heavy Machine Guns, Long Tom, and Arrow 4 artillery lots of weapons moving on to get another weapon clan that basically does the same thing on the clan side clan auto cannons clan gauss hyper assault gauss the good old hags lrms srms with and without artemis including streams streaks atms laser ams heavy and pulse lasers clan heat sinks array machine guns clan xl engines and clan endostructure then we have yet another equipment collection that is needed as well that will allow us to use something like Black Carapace or, or Hargel or whatever, Angel, ECM, Gyro updates, and so on. Just a lot of equipment stuff to mess with. Yet another heatsink restriction that introduces heatsink installation restrictions for the heatsinks from yet another equipment uh, that's needed for something. I don't know exactly what, but we need it, so we are installing it. I would also make it so that you cannot combine single and double heatsinks. Yet another special variant that is uh, tons of new mechs, um, special variants for people to play with. So basically just means more mechs and more mechs is always good, right? 
Then, MW5 a mod compatibility pack. That one is required as well. This just helps to <laughs> keep compatibility between mods up so that we don't have that many conflicts and issues and we don't break the game. Mod options, important so we can change options in our mods. Um, just don't mess with the load order. But yeah, just get more options. Better salvage shares. This will allow us to tweak the amount of salvage shares that we get um, on our negotiation table. As you guys all know, MW5's basic salvage share system is deeply flawed and has never been updated properly or rebalanced properly. So this takes care of that. Then we've got the remove jump ship animation so that we save a little bit of our time in life by not staring at the jump ship animation, but just instantly jumping to the next system. Then we have star map mouse over mission logos. SMMO in short. Uh, remember the update that PGI did on the star map for uh, making things a little bit easier to see? Well, they wish they had met this mod because this mod still is way ahead of what they're providing, unfortunately, with the latest update. So get SMMO. It's been working since MW5 Classic Vanilla however you want to call it. It just shows you exactly what missions are available on which planet. Super nice, super easy to use, great add-on to have, must-have mod in my opinion. Von Biomes adds a ton of different biomes. For example, the forest moon of Endor. I have no idea what this is called. It just looked like it. Um, the giant ice crotch. Mushrooms. Burning cities. The beautiful Marauder screenshot, by the way. Uh, my Little Farm. Look at all the shinies. Welcome to the jungle. Everything scrap metal. A volcanic dust. Uh, outskirts of Fallout 3. Greener outskirts of Fallout 3. Fallout New Vegas. And door again. <laughs> you get the idea. It's just a lot of different cool looking biomes and uh, it just adds a lot of variety to your drops, which is a really, really nice thing to have. Of course, with the add ons, they brought in more biomes from the get go, but this just adds more stuff on top of it and that is always good. So, more variety is always better. Then we have stacked crates, loot crate overhaul. Uh, this thing comes with a whole system of balancing. But basically what it does is it makes loot crates contain better stuff than before. So, for example, you can find mech parts or even full mechs in loot crates. You can find lost tech weapons, clam weapons, you name it. Anything can be in a loot crate, including lots of sea builds. Yeah, you never know what you get, but you got to get something good this time instead of the 10,000s as well. I'm two rank zero. So makes loot crates just feel a lot better. And then last but not least... Highly important advanced zoom, and do take note, we will not be using advanced zoom, which has this god awful and whoever came up with the idea back in Mac Warrior, or was it Mac Warrior 2, or whatever, needs to be flogged. Picture in picture zoom. It is terrible. Don't use that. Instead, we are getting a simple zoom, and simple zoom does only one thing. It just it just decreases the uh, field of view. So it basically brings stuff closer to you by giving you by giving you less field of view. It just pulls it closer to you, and you get the same magnification, but full screen, and the added bonus on top of that is, if you use picture in picture, you're essentially calculating the picture twice. You're calculating normal picture, and you calculate the zoom picture, so it has heavy impact on your PC resources, whereas simple zoom by just decreasing the FOV for zooming, brings the stuff closer to you, gives you full screen zoom, basically, and it doesn't impact... <laughs> It doesn't impact your PC resources. Win, 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 win. Easy peasy. So I recommend using Simple Zoom. I've I've never liked this. I found this god awful atrocious in MacWarrior Online, and um, yeah, it's it's an example of people keeping stuff because it's been there before, because it's always been there, not because it's good. Picture in picture zoom is stupid. Hell, stupido. So Simple Zoom, important. It's right here. And don't get discouraged by all the ads on this website. It just can't be helped. <laughs> they have to make money somehow, right? Um, and no, I'm not using an app blocker because that would be a little bit hypocritical of somebody who is financing his content by having ads on them. So I'm not using an app blocker. There you have it. All right, guys. So these are the mods that we'll be using. Back to our page right here. They're all listed with the links. Just go to the download page, grab them, install them, and then go into Mac Warrior 5. 
enable them all, quit the game, restart the game, and it should all be working. Uh, maybe do a couple of drops to just and see, uh, make sure that everything is working correctly and familiarize yourself a little bit with it. But yeah, looking forward to this. Hope you guys are looking forward to this as well. And we're going to do a couple of test episodes, see how people like it. And if people really, really like it, then we can make this thing a, a long lasting second program on the channel. Hope this video was helpful to you. If you think that we are missing one specific mod that we haven't listed here, because there are a couple that I didn't mention, for example, the latest pirate overhaul or salvage purchasing or whatever, um, you can just post them in the video comments and I will have a look. And also, guys, as always, if you want to support my content, you can hit the join button right here on YouTube to become a channel member. You can send a super thanks through the YouTube comment system, or you can check out the various options on how to support me listed in the video description where, well, of course, below. Thank you so much. Looking forward to playing this game with you guys. I'll see you soon.